Okay, YouTube, I'm doing a little quick video here on this product, Fast Mask Liquid Mask. It's for these RC car bodies. It goes on the inside. Now, the container says that you should put it on two to three coats, moderate coats with a brush, like a paintbrush. It's not the route I'm taking. I didn't want to do that. It's too much of a mess. Plus, it's real inconsistent when you, when you, when you brush it. As you can see here, I've already put three coats on with a little just a little cheap harbor freight gun because i'm not using my good spray guns for this this was just totally clear see-through and now you can see it has a film on the inside okay so i did that that's three coats i'm gonna put five coats of it and the quick tip right here is to take some of this i'm gonna show you how thick this is it's like a paste that's really like glue if you look it won't even really pour out and i've shook it really well what you want to do is get yourself a bottle of water, uh, not cold, uh, you know, just room temperature, whatever. Get yourself one of these little uh, measuring cups and just measure it 50-50. You know, if you go to that number two with the mask, go to the number four uh, with the water. You know, like I said, 50-50. And uh, stir that stuff real good. Get yourself a little spoon or whatever. And what you're going to see here is there's a bunch of these little chunks in here. See all this? That ain't good. So even though I shook it and everything, that's just all the residual stuff that sits on the bottom of that container because it's plastic, obviously. And get yourself a couple of these strainers. These are real cheap. You can probably go to Home Depot and get them for free, a couple of them. But if you look in here, that's all the stuff that came out of it. And that stuff would have been into my gun, and it would have never shot through. Since it's only 1.6 tip, this gun right here at Harbor Freight, it's about, shit, $13. So get yourself one of those. Um, you could use a, a compressor at your house. Just make sure you got a filter on the end of it so that way you're not getting any water or moisture or oil through the lines. We're using this Proline paint here. Uh, that's fluorescent orange, obviously, white and black. We're going to do a nice little scheme. But, um, yeah, just do that. Instead of using a brush, it just goes on way too heavy. Uh, most importantly, let this stuff dry. What I've been doing is after I'm spraying it, I'm setting it out here in the sun. We're in sunny Florida, so it's about 85 out here today. Just uh, set this when you put a coat, put it down here, let the sun hit it a little bit, turn it around a couple times, and then uh, once you see it's not really milky white and it's almost see-through, you're ready for your next coat. Then after your last coat, like I said, we're doing four or five, after your last coat, let it dry for about a good hour, then you can start cutting and doing all of your uh, your uh, designs and, and, and just pulls right out. So. That's about it, guys. This isn't a video on how to paint a body. This is strictly just a video on how to use that product right here without using a brush. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in.